Hey guys, so welcome to this little video, and I know for a fact that by the time you're seeing this, um, Charlie Puth's new album is going to be coming out in a week. Now, something which I was, um, now something which I thought about doing is I wanted to, um, review both of Charlie Puth's, um, last albums, uh, which is number one, Nine Track Mine and Voice Notes, but I decided I wanted to do separate videos for each album review, mainly because, um, I wanted to take, um, listen to the album, uh, like, listen to it. The uh, each particular album and then review um, in separate videos. But yeah, I want to say today I will be reviewing the 2016 album, otherwise known as Charlie Puth's first full-length album, The Nine Track Mind. So let's get started. So I want to say one of the very first things I want to say is the cover. Now the cover is yellow and with him a green shirt. And I gotta say this, um, this, it, <laughs> it's just weird for me to see this album cover. But I do think it's a pretty simple, but yeah, it's a um, decent album cover for what it is. Um, although I'm not sure what the whole thought process was at the time for the album c cover, but um... I mean, it's pretty simple, and I think, um, in some way it is, um, pretty iconic for the Charlie Puth fans, but, um, on to the track list. Now, um, now I do want to say that, um, coming down to, like, the songs I liked particularly, like, from the most favorite to, like, um, to the least favorite, um, um, uh, I think that my favorite songs comes down to lose, losing my mind. So much to do. As you are. We don't talk anymore, and um, Marvin Gaye. I mean, I like all those songs, and I think that the ones that are least, the less popular songs, like the songs that um that were better and they didn't get as popular, the one those ones are pretty great as well. I mean, I mean, it's not perfect though. There are some songs which I'm kind of like I don't really care as much. Um, um, the, one of the ones which I don't particularly care for, mainly because I just, um, there's some songs which I like more than others. Um, then there's You, and Left, Right, Left, which actually sounds very similar to this one, which ironically is without a doubt his most popular song right now, but, um, when it comes down to the songs, I think if anything, they're actually, like, they aged well. They're not bad. I think that, if anything, the songs come down to, like, being, um, classic songs, like, um, class, like, classics for the 2010s, um, One Call Away, especially for the fact that was one of his first, like, big, like, not one of his first big hits, I mean, um, one of his first big hits without a collaboration. That's what I'm saying. But when it comes down to, like, um, the collaborations that he did, which was Megan Trainer and Selena Gomez and Sky Carter, those actually are very good collaborations, especially um, uh, with Sky Carter. He actually does a very well, good, like, very good job in his part for the song. Um, Selena Gomez also does a really good job in their popular song, We Don't Talk Anymore, as well. I mean, I think about it, um, Megan Trainor's part as well is also good, but it's, um, but I don't really particularly care for her. But, um, when it comes down to, like, um, the songs that, um, like, any flaws that I have with it, first of all, the, um, cover is kind of, it's kind of plain. Um, but that was, um, but I do gotta say for, um, for the first album, I don't really expect too much of anything, anything too particularly flashy or anything, like, flashing colors and stuff, but, um, when it comes down to the songs, I think that the, um, that the songs are great. I think, if anything, the songs have aged fairly decently. I mean, I think about it, it's, like, the songs that, um, I prefer, Losing My Mind and One Call Away and Dangerously and stuff, it, 
really does, um, those songs are really good. And comparing to, um, uh, his next album, which he's coming out with in a week, it's really just, it's one of those things where it's like this, um, it really does make you want to look back at what he first produced. And, but, uh, just, in my opinion, I think he does a lot of great songs on this album. It's, it's nice. Um, it's, it's not perfect. I think that if anything, Charlie Puth at the time could do a little bit better. But that was um very, very, not very, very early in his career. But this was like his first like big break. I mean, not the first big break because it was a few months before. But talking about like for his first album, it's not bad. It's really, it's a, it's a decent album. But I mean, if I had to rate it, um, one out of ten, I think that if anything, it would go pretty close to, um, uh, it would be a nine. Um, there are certain parts of, like, certain songs I, um, that I kind of don't, um, the, some of the songs I don't care for, but really good album. Like, I do gotta say it's a really good album. Um, and for his first album, I think, if anything, um, it's great. Sometimes the first album is always not the best one, but... Um, when it comes down to, like, the music and stuff, it's, it's great, but, um, yeah, um, I will be talking about Nine Track Mine, um, not Nine Track Mine, uh, voice notes next in my, in my next video, so, prepare for that, and I want to say thank you guys for watching this little quick review I want to give on Nine Track Mine, um, comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later, bye! That ass up. Oh, 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 o